So another accessory is a slide distance regulator. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of how to set it up. I know it comes with directions, but I wanna clarify some of them. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the two ends and you're gonna slip knot it through right where you attach the arm pulleys. Right there, then you're gonna take the shorter piece and you're gonna have already one of the components, one of the straps and loops right around the tower. You just bring that through like so. And then you're gonna do the same thing right at the bottom. Now this strap goes underneath the glide board, comes down, and now from here you've taken the other loop and you fed it right at the bottom. Again, you just slip knot it very easily. And now you just feed this through. And one of the nice things about the slide distance regulator is that it regulates from both ends. So if I'm gonna work with someone and I'm working with them, let's say on lunges, and right now it's pretty loose, I can really have full range of the glide board. But if I know that the person, when they get to about here, might lose it, or I don't have an extra set of hands to stop the board because I'm controlling from their knee or their hip, I can come in and I can shorten up the strap and now all of a sudden when they come out it's limiting the range of motion with the board when it's moving up. Now with that said, what's also really nice is I can loosen up the strap here and I can bring the board up like so. So I use this all the time at the clinic with my patients when they're having a tough time just trying to mount and dismount the glide board that they can just straddle and now the board's steady and whether I have the squat stand on and they're gonna roll back to do squats or whether I wanna have them sit here and maybe I just wanna work on that pelvic stability but give them a little bit more assistance, you can use a slide distance regulator.